Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and in this video, I'm gonna be explaining Backrooms Level 206, aka Bones of Bones. This level was just found a couple of weeks ago, like just discovered, and it's probably one of the most mysterious and disturbing and just weird levels that I've ever read, and I know you're gonna enjoy it because y'all like weird and disturbing things. So without further ado, let's get into the explanation, shall we? Subscribe to my second channel where I post daily, thank you. So Backrooms level 206 is classified as a class 4 difficulty and is unsafe, unsecure, and has a medium entity count, but it's not really the entities that you gotta worry about. The environment at this level is also really dangerous, so pretty much all of it is dangerous. Now like I said earlier, the level is thought to be recently discovered, but it's also thought to be recently created. Yes I said created, and I'll tell you what that means down in the video a little bit further. But up until now, no records of this thing existed, and we barely know anything, but what we do know, I'll talk about right now. The level looks like a very organized catacomb system, you know, like the catacombs from real life. And these catacombs hallways are made up of small, claustrophobic, stone-like hallways that have dirt and debris on them. And yes, I said stone-like because it's not actual stone. And this is where the first weird thing happens. The walls, the floors, the ceilings, pretty much everything is made out of bones, specifically mostly leg bones, arm bones, and skulls that are all stacked on top of each other and connected with this weird stone material. Now there are some halls that don't have bones and are just made out of a weird rock sandstone type thing, but those aren't as cool, so we're not gonna talk about them. These hallways are lit up by modern day lights in the ceiling, like literally just fluorescent lights sticking out of this ancient looking bone hallway, which is strange. And even stranger, you can actually see the wires coming from the lights and just disappearing into the walls, which is pretty weird to me. There are also other modern things in the hallways like exit signs and glowing arrows and stuff like that. Just weird backroom stuff. And as you can expect, the air in these hallways is musty and stinky and gross. And it's even kind of foggy for some reason. The fog isn't toxic, but you should probably avoid it. So the layout of the hallways has been mapped out and the hallways make up this really weird shape of whatever this thing is. It kind of looks like a humanoid with long arms and no legs, but it's really strange and I'll get into each individual part now. It's thought that the entire network of hallways is kind of alive, like it moves around. Specifically, it moves around in the blue channel, which is a weird mysterious level that takes place between other levels. And I'll explain more on that in a short second. The first part of this body thing is the skull, and that's just the top part, obviously. The skull is split into four different areas. The east area, the west area, the eyes, and then the wells, which are the areas around the eyes. The left part of the skull is where wanderers who get sent here end up. And in this area, there's really not much besides the bones and the stone walls and stuff, but there is a strange spiral staircase, which is the well, that leads down to an eye. The eye is blue, and that's because you're looking directly at the blue channel. That's right, this level looks directly into the actual blue channel. It's not recommended to try to climb down into the opening, because the stairway is really tight and steep, but it still looks cool, you should just avoid it. The other side of the skull is the same. A spiral staircase leading down to the eye, where you can look into the blue channel. Underneath the skull is the next area, which is like the neck spine area. You can get to the spine by just going down the neck of this shape. The whole middle of the spine area is called the center. Now the center is that big, long, spinal looking cord thing that goes down the entire length of the level. And on each side of the center, there are halls that shoot off in different directions that look like ribs. And they're called ribs. Shocker. Now these ribs start longer and larger at the top, and they get smaller and smaller and shorter as you move down the spine. But they all look similar, their walls are just made up of bones and stone, and at the end of the ribs, there's just a bunch of stacked up bones in a dead end. The ribs do not connect into a normal rib cage, like a human would have, and they all just go out in straight lines. 
So now we've done the head, the spine, the center, and the ribs. Next is the arms. And this is where the level kind of gets really complex and confusing. The hallways here are made out of bones that are fused together like the other parts of the level, but they're more curvy and windy. The first part inside of the arms is the shoulder area, which are just slightly curved hallways that are in the rough shape of a shoulder. After that, the arms are pretty much straight until you hit the forearm zone. And both forearms on each side are in this weird S-curve for no reason. I mean, I don't know a human or anything that has an S-curve in their forearm. After you get past this S-curve, you'll be led to the base of the hands at the wrist area. The hands are also pretty complex, and they're kind of hard to map out and go through. But the good news for you is that I'm here to explain it. When the hand starts, the ceiling will become shorter, and the hallways will become slimmer and just harder to get through. And you might even have to duck to walk through them if you're tall. Each hand of the level has four fingers and a thumb, just like a five-fingered human hand, and all of the fingers are built the same way. They all have bones as walls and these strange holes in them. And inside of those holes are those industrial lights again from earlier. They're always on, they're always lighting up the area, and again, it makes no sense why there are lights here, but whatever. The layout of each hand is also the same, except on each side of the body, it'll be flipped. Now the last area is also the most dangerous, weirdest, and the one you should avoid, and it is the unfinished lower part of the level, which is that little stub looking zone past the spine under it. It's unfinished looking and not much is known about it. It's kind of like whoever was digging these tunnels or making this level quit or gave up. There's no lighting here, so coming, you're gonna need to bring a flashlight or something. This area also smells terrible. It's rotten and old smelling and just smells like you would gag if you got one sniff. Now at the very end of these stubs where legs should be going, it's completely open to the blue channel, just like the eyes were at the beginning. So these stubs just jut right out into the blue channel. The walls here are not made out of stone at all, they're just made out of straight bones. So it looks like whatever's making this level is going to continue making it, it's just that they haven't finished it yet and they kind of left it undone. Now I'm sure you're wondering, you know, who made this level? What kind of gross person would make a skeleton shape out of skeletons? Well the answer is the sieved flesh entity. These entities only live here on level 206 and they look like fleshy gross blobs. They're disgusting looking. They're entirely organic and they look like they're made out of body parts that they stole but they're kind of like melted together in a weird way, kind of like a clump and a dentist entity got put together. It's thought that these entities are solely responsible for all of the skeletons here too, because they attack and harvest people who come here or who accidentally float through the blue channel into this level. Okay. Like I said earlier, no one knows why these things are making this level or how the entire level moves through the blue channel, but my advice is to just avoid it and leave it alone so you don't get eaten by a carnivorous blob and have your skeleton put into a wall. Let me know down in the comments what you think this level is being made for, why it's floating through the blue channel, and just let me know all your theories on it because I'm pretty interested to know actually. There are no bases here for obvious reasons. And to enter, you can find a well in level 165 that is a similar shape to the eye in this level and jump into it to get in here. And to exit, you can technically jump out into the blue channel if you're comfortable with that, but you might get lost. Or there's a few random wells inside of the skeleton that will take you to other levels like 169 and so on. Pretty much, you can escape, it's just a matter of how fast you can get there before entities get to you or before you get lost and go crazy. But yeah, I thought this one was pretty awesome. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. I really enjoyed this level. I think it's one of the best ones I've read. I say that a lot, but they literally just keep getting better and better to me. This is crazy creepy, and I really like the concept of it. Let me know what you think. Also, check the full article down below in the description. There's so much more information that I could not fit in one video. Y'all need to go read it if you want to know more. It's crazy. While you're down there, go check out my second channel, daily videos and talks with me and streams and that kind of thing. I want to get to 50k by the end of the year, so if you want to help me get there, I would appreciate it. Thank you all for everything you do for me. Get hyped for Brugmas. It's coming soon. Get hyped for the Christmas season, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. Never forget that, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.